Hello, this is the second video in the EFT series. In the first one, I talked about the belief systems and patterns that we create when we attach meaning to the experiences that we have and how EFT works and also the tapping points. So if you'd like to do that initial first video, I think that would be helpful before you begin this here. I will review a couple of the things though. So once we have a memory that we want to work on and we don't always have to have a memory, it's just most helpful if we do, but if we have something we want to work on like a, an emotion or a belief system, then memories will sometimes uh, emerge as you go through the tapping points. So the first thing we want to do is to see what we want to work on and today I thought we could tap on worry and this can be applied to if you're worried about a child if you're worried about a parent a sibling um, a pet it could be anything that you're worried about worried about finances um, worried about your job right it could be anything the first thing you want to do is rate how strong that emotion is zero to 10, 10 being the highest. And maybe even you want to boil it down even more to fear, it could be fear. So just check in and see if that resonates with you. And, and I encourage you to write it down so that you can track where your number goes and, and, um, and remember if you don't get to a zero, you can always come back and keep working on it, or you may be to the point where it's as low as it, as you're comfortable with it going, like a one, one and a half, two. So again, it's zero to 10, 10 being the highest. So let's say that my worry is an eight. And um, actually I am worried right now because um, I'm watching my mom's dog and she has cancer and she's not doing very well right now. And my mom's out of the country. And so her care is on me. And so I've been right next to her, comforting her and doing uh, everything I can for her. But I feel really worried. And so let, I'm, I'm going to be tapping on that. But again, you decide what you're tapping on. So this is the karate chop point. We're going to say, even though I feel really worried, I deeply and completely love myself, accept myself and forgive myself. I feel worried, top of the head. Beginning point of the eyebrow, I feel worried, deep breath. I feel really worried. Worry. So we went beginning point of eyebrows, outside of eyebrows, end point of eyebrows, and under the eyes. And then under the nose, I feel worried. Another deep breath on your chin, I feel worried. Again, maybe it's I'm really worried about my financial situation or I'm really worried about my job. This is going to be, you can either tap like this or you can do like about an inch below the collarbone. I feel really worried about my child. I actually have that as well. I'm worried about one of my children um, or your job or your spouse, you know, anything that you're really worried about under your arm. It's a few inches below your armpit or about on your bra strap for women. Really worried. And then back to the karate chop point, you can even check in and see what your number is now. Even though I'm still worried, I deeply and completely love myself, accept myself and forgive myself. And as you go through these points, you might have other things come to your mind that might be helpful for you to think about or say. So, I'm worried this is gonna get worse. It really scares me. I'm worried that this terrible thing will happen. This reminds me, now this is a really important point. This reminds me of when I was, for example, 10 and this other thing happened that feels connected to this situation. Or this happened when I was 20, this situation and it, it's coming to my mind, you know? And so you, you start exploring that. As you get your number down further, 
you can even say things like worrying about this is definitely helping me you know and, and you can use some sarcasm when you feel like you've fully honored your emotion and you're ready to let it go you can start kind of playing with your subconscious and your mind and helping it get ready to be brave enough to release remember your deep breaths you can either breathe like that or just allow things to surface and make sure you honor and address those as well and you can even if new memories come up you can write them down you can rate them again and you can always check in on your number and you can come back to your original ones you were working on if you've gone to some other memories that have emerged and then just make sure to check back in with those original ones you worked on and you may actually find that that number went down as you worked on the other memories that emerged that happens sometimes if it's kind of a cumulative effect onto these other memories so lots of love i want you to know that i'm holding space for you i'm sending love you're not alone and it is really human and normal to worry but it also really doesn't do very much good and so getting that number down as low as you can so you can feel some peace is really helpful in these situations. I hope this helped you.